Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Um, real simple, I'm right here in my car. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people making like crazy ass videos about how to deactivate the seatbelt chime in your car. Um, disable, I mean, taking apart the buckle, all kinds of stuff. Check this out, man. This is real easy. You can do this in most cars. Um, maybe some cars, like old cars with metal buckle, no. The old school ones. But any ones that have these new plastic buckle things. Pretty much, if you look at it in there. I mean, I don't know if my camera, but you'll see it. There's plastic, okay? And look, I just got, it has to be something sturdy enough. Not has to be super sturdy. Long and sturdy enough. I got a Q-tip. I took one of these sides off. I chopped it off with a nail clipper. Because make it. A, a really tight cut but regardless of the fact what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that plastic in there and you're gonna want to push it in until it clicks and when it clicks okay the little metal piece pops up okay and what that does is it makes this thing believe that your seatbelt is now attached okay you're not gonna be able to stick your seatbelt in like that okay but for all intents and purposes on the passenger side, on the driver's side, on whatever side, it'll disable. Like if you have a passenger, it'll it'll not disable your airbag or it will disable your airbag because it might think that there's not enough weight on the seat if you do that. But you don't need to do that for a passenger if you don't have a passenger, like I said. But for the driver's side, I'm just showing you how it's done. Driver's side, you can do it. It'll even take away the the minder the light not only the chime but the light and if you have a car that does auto stop and all that all those functions will return just as if you had your seatbelt on um and that's all you need to do and then if you want to you know buckle your seatbelt in all you have to do is click on it it clicks and then you can stick your seatbelt in and i mean obviously if you do that you would have to do it again and um as long as you don't click it i mean you don't have to ever do this again you know what i mean but Anytime that you do want to buckle your seatbelt, like if you're getting pulled over and you want to buckle real quick, you're going to have to click it real quick and then buckle your seatbelt because it won't go in as long as that's active. All right. Good night. Hope that helps. Have a nice one.